Have you ever tried to make your own pizza? No, -uh. I hope you're not yet hungry because I have here a pepperoni pizza. Let us separate the ingredients of this pizza. We have pepperonis, the cheese, the tomato sauce, and the pizza bread. Did you know that this pizza is actually a mixture? You got it right, a mixture. A mixture is made by combining two or more ingredients or components. When we say ingredients or components, these are the things that we mix together. So in our pizza, the pepperonis, the cheese, the tomato sauce, and the pizza bread are the ingredients or the components of the mixture. By the way, hey, we have two types of mixture, the heterogeneous mixture and the homogeneous mixture. But for this lesson, we will focus first in discussing heterogeneous mixture. Let's start by defining heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture is a type of mixture in which you are combining components or ingredients of different kind, or you are combining components or ingredients with non-uniform composition. Heterogeneous comes from the Greek words heteros, which means other, and genus, which means kind. Here are some examples of heterogeneous mixtures. Ice cube in soda, vegetable salad, halo halo, sand, and vegetable soup. The ingredients or the components of these mixtures can be easily seen with our naked eye. Heterogeneous mixture often have a main component or a base component. When we say main component or base component, it is the most abundant component into which the other ingredients are made. So let us go back to some of our examples and let us identify the main component of the mixture. Ice cube in soda. This one is a mixture of soda and ice cubes. Which do you think is the most abundant ingredient? That's right, it is the soda. How about in vegetable soup? We all know that it is made up of different kinds of vegetable and water. Which do you think is the most abundant component? That's right, it is the water. We can easily see heterogeneous mixture in our nature because these are mixtures formed naturally. Like for example, the sand, which is actually made up of pebbles, bits of shells, glass, and piece of iron. Another thing is the soil, which is actually made up of sand, dirt, rocks, decayed matters, and bits of metal, cloth, glass, and plastic. If we have heterogeneous in nature, we also have the man-made heterogeneous mixture. These mixtures do not occur naturally. They are made from existing ingredients or components. Like for example, the concrete cement. This is made up of, of the cement powder, sand, and water. One thing about man-made heterogeneous mixture are the medicinal mixtures, which are used to treat illnesses. There are two components of homemade medicines, the active ingredient and the additives. Active ingredients possess the healing component of the medicine and given out according to the need of the person or the patient, while the additives help the healing component to be used or to be taken up by the person or the patient. Let's have this for example. Sap from leaves of kalachuchi and mango mixed with oil is used to treat skin diseases. The active ingredient in this mixture are the sap from leaves of kalachuchi and mango, while the additive is the oil. 
Another example is a mixture of crushed thyme leaves and warm water that is good to the active component is the thyme leaves because it possesses the healing component and the warm water helps the thyme leaves to be taken up by the patient.